Knocking? What are you doing in Mom's clothes? Nothing. Get out. <laughs> okay. I'm already gone. Wait. Please don't tell anybody. It'll cost you. Don't. That was Dad's. Mom. Oh, okay. Fine. Well, keep your mouth shut. Sure, kid. Okay, just, just keep it set to four lower. I will. And, and don't break it. it. <laughs> if your father had hit you as hard as he hit the bottle, Maybe you know how to follow the rules. You know why I did this, don't you? Yes. You better tame that one. Do you hear me? Yes, better. Mother. Marigold, you've got to be more careful. We're in enough trouble as it is. But it's time for church. Okay? Go, 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 go.
excuse me, Vetter, is this a bad time? I, I don't want to interrupt. I sought to hear the word of God and climb the topmost steeple. But God declared, go down again. I dwell among the people. What can I do for you, Grace? Uh, well, uh, <clears throat> better. Um, we have to walk in the middle of the night to our neighbor's outhouse, and sometimes he's in there for hours at a time. Sometimes he'll see me and run into the outhouse before I even have a chance to get there. I have a daughter. It's humiliating. So have you come with a complaint about your neighbor? No, uh, I, I came to request our own outhouse. Do you know what it means to be the minister of this colony? I am not only responsible for the spiritual well-being of all of these souls, but the physical as well. When God ordained me minister of this community, we were sinking in debt. And that debt bred doubt. The physical affected the spiritual. So I prayed many sleepless nights did I pray for God to lay his hand down upon us and bless this land. And now we're thriving. No one is hungry. No child goes unclothed. Everyone has exactly enough. No more, no less. So you should be happy that you have an outhouse to share with your neighbor. If you could just approve us for some lumber, my son. Your son? <laughs> your son is a disgrace. Even before Paul died, my family was treated differently from everyone else. No one was there to help him with his drinking problem. No one was there to, to counsel him. And we lost <laughs> Why won't you just give me an outhouse? Rebellion is witchcraft. And stubbornness is as bad as worshiping idols. If you won't give me an outhouse, I'll build one myself. <laughs> A woman building an outhouse. <laughs> now that is funny. You clearly haven't lost your sense of humor, Grace. Mm. Paul didn't know how lucky he was. Good evening, Fetter. See to it that your daughter has made preparations for her baptism. I found a husband for her, the turkey boss's son from Saskatchewan. It'll be a wonderful marriage for our colony. Congratulations, Marigold. Word around the hob varnish, you're engaged. Shut up, I'm not engaged. Oh, I'm sorry, should I be addressing you as the turkey queen of Saskatchewan now? What do we have here? Oh, oh, that's nothing. Ooh, university, prestigious. We're going into town tonight. Come on, George, be serious. I'm serious. I met a friend at the gas station when we delivered hogs in town last week, and he invited me to a bonfire. Very funny. Oh, I'm not joking. And unless you want me to show this to the minister, you're coming with me. You can have this back when we get there.
We'll have two drinks, tops, and then leave. This is a terrible idea. Thank you. Take this off. No, no, stop, stop. Hey, I can't believe it. You actually came. Of course. Uh, Justin, this is my sister, Marigold. Marigold, Justin. Nice to meet you. Well, now we got a couple of runaway Hutterites. It's a real party. <laughs> Come meet my friends. Even the vets are organizing, and they arrested 12,000 in Washington in March. He's screaming about how he wants to fire the head of the New York Times because they published his little war plans. I hope you walk him out of the White House in handcuffs. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Ladies, this is George and Marigold. Nice to meet you, honey. Yeah, nice to meet you. Uh, you too. Are you Amish or something? Look it up. You're scaring her. She's Hutterite. Oh. Yep, we're Hooters. <laughs> <laughs> May I offer you some of South Dakota's finest agriculture? Absolutely. Grows wild out where we live. <laughs> hey, that's where I work. This? Yeah. You thinking about taking classes? No, I'm not allowed to. Screw that. You should be able to get an education if you want. Yeah, I can help you get enrolled. Really? Angie would do anything for anyone. It's her tragic flaw. You know, you can stay with me until you get on your feet. You would really let me stay with you? Of course, honey. No sweat. I used to have one like that. You did? Yeah. yeah. Woo! Hey, Hooter girl. Take your scarf off. Looking for a little outsider stud service or the only fuck your relatives. <sighs> Justin, get him out Come of here. Come on. Hey. I'm so sorry, Mary Gold. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Was it a guy? <laughs> I don't know. No. Had you? <laughs> it was oh ridiculous. This was my father's strap. Whenever I did something wrong, he'd give it to me. Sometimes he'd beat me even when I didn't do anything. Said I'd probably do something at some point to deserve it. You're gonna marry that Saskatchewan boy. And you're gonna make this colony lots of babies. Do you know how that's done, girl? Please don't hurt her, it was my fault. I'm gonna make sure you know how to be a woman. Do you hear me? Leave me alone! Stop! You are an abomination! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mary Gold. It's not your fault. 
I know things have never been very good for our family, but we've got to try our best to stay out of the minister's way. Have you been preparing for baptism? I have. How's memorization coming? It's going all right. I want to show you something. This was your grandmother's wedding dress. <laughs> I'm leaving. I've been studying for my GED and I want to go to college. No, but Marigold, the, the outside world, it, it, it's too dangerous. It'll be okay, I can take care of myself, I promise. Oh, there's always been a restlessness inside of you, just like your father. I was never able to get a hair on your head, just sit straight. <laughs> just like him. He once told me that the only time he ever felt alive was when he was in the war in Japan. And if the war is better than this place, well, then you better get out. I, um, I know it's not much, but it's all I have. Maybe I'll marry the turkey boss's son. <laughs> <laughs> I can't convince you to come with me. Someone has to look after Mom. It's not safe for you here. I'll be fine. Besides, I'd rather stay behind and shun you. More fun. <laughs> How'd you get this? Angie gave it to me. <laughs> Thank you, Marigold. I'm gonna miss you around here. Keep it at four. Okay. <laughs> Mom, let me help you.
Sing me. 